traditional start of Penryn Fair Day uh, for the service of commemoration of the Prep Rebellion in 1549. Uh, this is the time when thousands of uh, Cornish men and women united against the uh, changes to the way they worshipped and a lot of them, uh, this was brought in by Edward VIII Edward the and a lot of people died as a result of their, their faith. Um, but in our prayers today, perhaps we ought to include all Cornish men and women who have died in the years from 1549 to the present day who have died in pursuit of peace that we can live in this beautiful country. And I'm going to hand you over to the man who's behind me. <laughs> Come then. Those Cornish people who fought and died, many of them, in the Prebrook Rebellion for their freedom of belief and thought. It was a battle for justice, for recognition of identity, for land and for language. In Henneth Sulebris Menachti Glasneth Dare Sevela Drodeni, my talk with us in Tag and Tavas Kanewek, are the Bile and Scriforian Venachek, are Scrifan Guaria Ganyethni, Avia Performias and Pleno and Guari, Rak Neb Kansbidem was a Mitten Heri Regis Russa Glasneth. They are both called Kolji Glasnet in West. In the previous generation, the Glasnet Monastery would have been standing near to us, where our language was well protected, and where the monastic scribes used to write the miracles plays which we performed in the playing places in Cornwall for a century after the Glasnet's dissolution by King Henry. We remember also Glasnet College. In Didiomma, Imagen Ganesagethni, Hagam Buzva, Otevi, Hagam Grefe, Hagam Tavis Inwe. If only Omiris in Rag, the Grians Kovva Genedlik Rag Kerno, or our Distiwine Istri all in Tien, Hagam Brodi Hanni, Hagi Brezel, Ragi Honensis He. Hedio, Epethani Kov and Weir and Beninis all, Hagam Miris Hagam Ran in Kazma. These days, Cornish culture and identity is gaining strength, and the language too. We are looking forward to the creation of a national archive for Cornwall, which will be able to reflect the real history of our little country and its struggle for her identity. Today, we remember all those men and women who have played their part in this struggle. Hedio, Unwith and Dreger, Nemekma, Ara, Omloenhi, Hihanensis, Hihihone, against Terda. Italian Gul in Delma. The Laverans and Americanas have followed with this, they both disappeared as though we all on and ago. Today, this Cornish town is celebrating its own identity and with pleasure and gusto. We should do the same. As the Americans never fail to say, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> on and ago, what and all. As an Englishman and a Greek Orthodox priest living in Penryn, I'm happy to say that I'm an internationalist and our Cornish neighbours, I'm pleased to say, regard us as honorary Cornish. We have some very good neighbours in Bronson Pope. Uh, but I prepared a little bit to say, but then uh, the chaplain is here, so that eliminates much of what I was going to say. So what I would like to do is just read from the scriptures which you might expect from a Christian priest, to read from the scriptures something that we use in our commemoration of the saints. And these are the kind of words which I think we should always have in our minds when we're speaking about people who have suffered in a cause, a just cause, a right cause, and we remember them with affection and respect. So this is from the book of the Wisdom of Solomon, 
which was written only a few years before the birth of Christ. The souls of the just are in the hands of God, and no torment will touch them. In the sight of the foolish, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they may be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope is full of immortality. Having been a little disciplined, they will be greatly rewarded, for God tested them and found them worthy for himself. Like gold in the furnace, he has tried them and received them as a burnt offering. In the time of their visitation, they will shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They will judge the nations, have dominion over the people, and their Lord will reign forever. Those who put their trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful shall continue with him in love, because grace and mercy are for his elect. For God can praise you for all my saints of every age, especially those brave men of 1549, for all my servants dear to us, who are God's accomplish, to venture into the joy of my heavenly presence. We pray that, encouraged by their example, strengthened by their courage, we may join with them in the inheritance of the saints. I hope you're enjoying this like I am. <laughs> I really genuinely am enjoying it. The traffic on the road was horrendous. I was convinced I wouldn't get here. I'm just Howard Kerner, back room boy. Try to put all the bits and pieces together. I can assure you we were destined to have the biggest crowd this year than we've had for the past 12 years. Well, Somebody around here should have more control on the weather. Sorry. <laughs> I'm delighted that our friends from, from Greece are represented here. I, I'm delighted to see uh, uh, Brian come from um, Falmouth all the way in this not best of weather. I'm delighted that we've got representatives because we will finish up with this having a lot more people. We will have the military, big Rolls Royce there, Maybe that's him, Lord Lieutenant Cornwall. We will have the, the university, Glasney, with its modern name. We'll have all represented. This will become a big event because it is to commemorate all Cornish people who have fallen in the name of a principle, of what they believe of for their country, whether it's the country of Cornwall or our neighbours. I believe, I cannot prove it, I don't wish anyone to raise a hand, that we have a representative of the family of Sergeant Smith, the man who was defusing a bomb and was blown up, a local family. Thank you very much. Wonderful. We will make this expand and you are the people who will do that. I had to step forward and say something because just linking the bits and pieces together, even the Deputy Grand Bard couldn't get here because of the traffic. Agan Tazni is in name. Benigus Rebo the Hano. Redesco the last four. The vote Rebo Brez in Nor Kiparha in name. Rodini Hedio Agan Barra put they call. A Gavdin Amagan Kamway. Kipar de la Vanini than Reina is the Kamwell Agan Pinni. Anara Agangora in temptation, Mr. Livni the word throb. Rag this Ochi, you won Rascor, Angalos, Angordians, Bisvik and Abinari. Amen. Amen.
the weather. Um, but here are uh, the Queen and Prince Philip, our guest of honour for today. Looking a bit smart. Bam. Um, please have a, the best day you can in spite of the weather. We have got a band here. Your Worship, the Mayor, members of the Fair Committee, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm very unaccustomed to speaking, but my wife and I are honoured to be here today in this ancient borough of Henry. For this, the 34th annual town fair. Over the years, we have been asked over many wondrous occasions like this. Mr. and Mrs. Fox Hat asked us to open their fridge in 1984, and we had the glorious envelope opening in Camborne in 1996. But this being the Jubal Olympics year, we jumped at the occasion to come to Henry. So we enjoy so meeting so many people during these events. And normally there are scrumptious lunches, cream teas, and memory is all that. Normally because it's all down the front of my jacket. We have watched with growing excitement the build-up of this event from the west wing of our estate. With the sun shining today and the town full of people, it brings a smile to our day. Henry, of course, is as old as the hills. And back when Bishop Rothkopf decided to build a church here. <laughs> 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 Henry, 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 Henry. I bet he never foresaw that in 2012 the, start, the town would still be here and have a great university giving out many degrees. How the town has grown, the numerous businesses that have come and gone in the town. There's always something for everyone in Pembrian. My wife and I do like to partake of bank holiday weekends of your sweet sharing from local hostilities. When the staff has gotten something to order the weekly groceries and port of amazements, we love to pop across to Cosper and post what we need. We'd also like to say how lovely the flowers are in the town and because of Mary May's sterling work with those strange gardener champions that go out there and water in the rain. Next time you see them, do say hello because it means so much to those old guys that they don't get up. Sorry for this wonderful street party here held in the town, but we were very busy at all our bars on the chair. It was our timeshare weekend and normally a lovely quiet time. But there was a large barge there with flashy gold all over. Anyway, can't keep you in the rain. One hopes that this will be a great success and wish you a lovely day. So do we um, crack a ribbon or do we open some champagne? Um, thank you to uh, King John and our Queen Philippa and on behalf of the Fair Committee, committee thanks for being such great sports and going to all the trouble with the costumes. It is difficult to get a fair opener but it wasn't this year. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking the public for supporting us on this very wet day. It's our day, John Ashwin would have said, it's your day, you've got to go with it, Henry, and that's what we're doing. So thank you to the bands, as the Mayor has said, and thank you to all the people today that have supported. But don't just support, please spend on the storms if you possibly can. It will help them. It's all for charities. Um, most of the storms are charities. I would be amiss if I didn't not thank the committee. There's only seven or eight of us, so thank you, the committee. Please don't walk, get watered away. We need you for next year. Thank you. I'm not going to do it.
Sing to 